Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have another 240 GD. This is a, another build from Adventure Cars. We work with them. They're from Poland. They do an amazing job in regards to restoring these specific units. We are the sole sellers in the United States for these trucks. And let me tell you something. They have attention to detail that is just like us in regards to the Humvees that we built in the past. This is an extremely clean example. It does have the textured blue with the orange stitching on the interior, and then they did do a lot of the suspension components powder coated in that orange as well, which you could see below. So if you look underneath it, you're gonna see your control arms uh, are powder coated, all new bushings. This one received brakes as well, and they go through everything mechanically. So this is a really solid platform. It's not the fastest thing in the world, a little four-cylinder diesel, but let me tell you, when you lock it front and rear, you can crawl over anything. Very versatile, the suspension feels good and soft. Let me show you the power plant. So this isn't a frame off restoration, this is a frame on restoration. So they still have the original insulation underneath it. And what they do is they actually line it. You can see that they upgraded the headlights in this unit. All the bolts have been replaced as well. There is the engine, uh, mechanical fuel pump, just like the other ones that we've sold in the past. There's your fuel filter. Yeah, that's your power steering. And then uh, there's a vacuum pump here because it, the diesels don't create vacuum and that helps the brakes work. The brakes work great. We're gonna go for a test drive. This is a 24 volt system. And then it does have a 24 to 12 volt converter, which is right there. Uh, it's that little, that silver box. And that's for the radio, for accessories you wanna do. This does have a snorkel kit as well. All the insulation was cut out for the hood. little Mercedes emblem and then another Mercedes emblem right here. And as you look around it, you're gonna see that all the bolts have been replaced. You do have your little grill guards right here. And we opted to not do the actual uh, straps on the hood. It looks a lot cleaner like that, but some people like it. Turn signals, aftermarket wheels. So these are like similar wheels that they put on the six by six. You can see that the Coney shocks are red, but the springs have been powder coated to match the actual theme of this truck. Brand new. Uh, top, it's a canvas top, very nice, new plastic. All these little scratches are for me using this truck. So we test drive these trucks before we sell them. We put 300 miles on them, we put it through rigorous, <laughs> we go to the Everglades and we test them out. So basically, you're getting a turnkey unit, you don't have to do anything to. Tires have about 90% tread, and it's a mechanically sound, as I've said before. You do have a spare tire that does not match. And then you can see that all the lights have been upgraded, so there's LEDs throughout. Inside, there's a rubber mat that's been placed in there. And what's nice is you can actually take the zipper, lift it up right here. Let me get on this side. And then you roll it up. And you can snap it into place. It's a very comfortable ride. So the ride's not bouncy. You have to rev out the motor in order to uh, get where you're going. I'd say the top speed's probably 67, like 71 miles an hour if you're redlining it. You do have a seat right here. Sorry, we, we brought these to a car show for a, it was an airline event. But all the seats are very nice. They fold up as well, so you get more space. Um, you do have a storage box, which is right here. And you can see all the arms for the canvas top are brand new and they're powder coated black. The steering wheel and seats have been upgraded as well. I believe the company is Java Design out of Poland and they do a great job. We'll show you that as we go for a test drive. You do have a release here so if you're sitting in the back you can actually open it. And then there's a lock so you just lift up and it'll, it'll work. Passenger side is the same as the driver's side. I love the accents and the fender flares. So these fender flares don't come with it. It just makes it look so much better. Those Hutchinson style wheels look great. There's the interior I was talking about. So you can see it's diamond stitch with the orange to match the actual suspension. And you have the grab bar right there that matches all the stitching throughout the vehicle. Doors close easy. Got your snorkel right here. And you can see a little bit of imperfections on the, on the paint itself. That's from us driving it. So it was painted satin black, starting to come off. Top comes off really easy. So you've got your 
straps right there that you pull off and you can actually take this top off in about 15 minutes. Let me start it and we'll go for a test drive. E-brake holds nicely. So it does have a glow plug. What you have to do is, if it's in colder climate or any climate, wait for the light to turn off. It's a, a yellow or a orange illuminating light right here. It'll shut off, give it a little bit of gas so it starts charging, and you're good to go. This one does have a aftermarket radio, but that's not gonna work here in the States. So you're gonna have to swap that out. It does turn on, but we're not gonna use it. Horn, turn signals work. Then you have your lockers front and rear, which are these levers right here. So this will be your front locker, your rear locker. Right now we're in two wheel drive. Then you can go to four high, four high, and you can cross over to go to four low. That's your neutral. E-brake works great, good position too. So if you're, if you're going off road, you can actually use it to help you if you get stuck in a certain position. Top is nice. Let's take it for a spin. There's Gloria, she'll be doing all the title work for you if you do purchase it. She'll send you all the paperwork. Christian's right there, and he helps us out of the shop. He's going to, what school are you going to? He's going to Flagler College. Nice. We've got this on another auction site. That's gonna be going on Bring a Trailer as well. GT350R is uh, going to bring a trailer again because the, the first buyer couldn't afford it, but he bid on it. But let's get back to this test drive. All right, let's test it out. You have to run these up to the higher RPM range to actually use them on the street properly. So you're gonna hear that I'm revving them out a little bit. It's a four speed transmission, super smooth. These don't leak anything. Really easy to drive too. And we're going over bumps right now very smooth. We're about to get covered in dust. We've got all this construction going on down here. Stop moving to South Florida, people. We'll test out the acceleration right now. Second. Doesn't have any chatter, feels good going through the gears. Oh, that's not 60 miles an hour, that's 60 kilometers. There you go, I mean, that's, that's cruising. We're cruising right now, low RPM. It's comfortable to drive. You can look out back. There's a lot of airflow right now. It's about 70 degrees here in Florida. It's perfect. I'm gonna show you what the capabilities of this truck can do. We're gonna go to a, like where they have gravel for the construction site, and I'll actually crawl up it um, in four wheel drive so you can see the differences between the regular two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. All right, we're gonna we're getting to the area where we can test it out. I'm gonna leave it in two-wheel drive for the initial test. So we crawled up with the gray one the other day in just four uh, four low, and it came, it went all the way up that with ease. Right now we are. In uh, two-wheel drive, uh, regular. No, see it's spinning. What we're gonna do is I'm putting the transfer case into the four low position, and I'm just gonna pull the front axle and lock it. It's about a 70% uh, incline. I'm gonna let him go outside so you can see it actually happen and uh, that shows you that the four-wheel drive is working. All right, here we go again. I'm in four low. There you go. No problem. We'll continue with our test drive. We'll go in the sand pit right now and I'll show you what you could do in the sand. So this is a double dip. Ground clearance is very nice. Not bad, jump on in, young chap. All right, 
right, we're going to go to the next spot to test it out. We're in a closed course right now, so we're going to be able to, uh, I'm just going to put it through some light mud so we can clean it up before we list it up for sale. You can see underside shots of this rig in our gallery below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We're going to have to go through some of uh, this muck right here. not too bad. I'm in two-wheel drive still. Okay, so this is a trail that we used to use all the time to test out the military Hummers. It hasn't been gone through for quite some time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock the rear and the front and put it into four high. I'll try to go up the You'll see the lights start to illuminate for the lockers. So both my lockers are on right now, we're crawling. It's a pretty good incline, don't worry. Right now I'm in four high. We're gonna go down, you ready? We're in some, uh, a little bit of water right now. It's getting quite deep here. I don't know if you're seeing your side, but uh, we're moving through here pretty good. What's nice is it's not muddy because not many people have gone through it lately. I've got no wheel spin right now. I love these things, they're just so agile. If you guys have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. I hope you guys enjoyed the test drive. Now my little cousin gets to clean this whole thing up for you guys to bid on it. See ya.